Here at my parents' basement, we like to enjoy the simple things. To us, that means waking up at four in the morning so we can sit on a boat hoping to suffocate a fish for 10 seconds before throwing it back into the water, all in total silence for several hours, only piping up every once in a while to have an awkward conversation about where babies come from. They're one in combat, but that's not important. What is important is that we're here together, sitting on this boat, completely miserable. Welcome back to My Parents' Basement, the only show that doesn't know why we keep making nature jokes, but we sure do like them. I'm Sam. I'm Griffin. I remember now why I wrote that intro. Was it like four or something specific? So that was like an old intro because I couldn't mm-hmm. be fucked to write one today. All Naturally. the ones that I had were like Christmas related and I figured we should save that for when we do our Christmas tier list. Yeah, it's not, we're not, we're not there yet. Soon, but not. So I pulled an old one and this was like the third in a row that I wrote about, about us being like nature people, <laughs> which is why the end is the only show that doesn't know why we keep making nature jokes. Yeah. Well, at, 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 the, t- at the time of being penned, it was. Uh, now, I don't think we did a nature joke last. No, we didn't. We did it. And it makes no sense. But we're, you know what? Fuck it. We're keeping it in. Fuck it. You know. Welcome back once again. And it's going to be another shorter one this week because tomorrow is the Game Awards. So Whoa. everything's been very quiet. I feel like with the exception of two things, nothing has really grabbed our attention. Well, except for Taylor Swift. I was going to say, actually, can can we say that it's been very quiet when, like, literally the biggest game, like, the most anticipated game in the past, like, decade got a trailer? Yes. I mean, we can because it's the only thing that happened. That's true. It was, like, a one-minute, 30-second trailer. Mm -hmm. Not saying it was bad, but it wasn't the big thing. Yeah. Even though we we could talk about it right now. Let's just, let's start with that. what, What are we talking about? Let's talk about GTA 6 finally getting a trailer. Oh, my God. GTA 5 was 10 years ago. Was it only 10? I thought it was a little longer than that. Was it 2013? I think it's been 10 years. And the trailer came out. It got leaked two days ago. It was supposed to come out yesterday. It came out two days ago. But I really like this trailer. It's really, really good. It's so cool. I mean, it's back in Vice City. Yeah, it's such such a good setting. I I love how like they were really focusing on like the Florida man aspects and just like the insane people that live there, like the hype, like culture and everything. This there is so they're they're definitely gonna like feature that to the fucking max. Oh, absolutely! It's really funny because as, as I was watching the trailer, I kept looking at it, going, "This is what Saints Row should have been, like the reboot." Yeah, it should have just been balls to the wall insane. Yeah, well, and, and this is, like, so modern be- because, like, a lot of the clips that are showing are supposed to be from, like, an Instagram reel or something like that. We're supposed to be, like, people streaming or, or li- like, live showing their, like, insanity. Exactly. Which is, like, that's exactly what um, Saints Row should have tried to do. Instead, they did what they what they did. <laughs> they did fucking nothing, and now their studio is closed down. I love how, you like, you were playing through Sa- um, the new Saints Row, and you were, at first you were like, oh, I, like, I'm actually really enjoying this. Like, I don't, I really don't get the hate. It, it's not, it's not the best game, but it's, it's good. And then as it went, you just got more and more sad. Because, like, when it started out, I was like, okay, it's a little jank, but, you know, this is the first mission. Maybe once I get into the open world, like, all the side stuff, that'll be a lot of fun to do. No. <laughs> It wasn't. Literally, the open world was so fucking boring. Dauntless is right, though. Da- Hi, Dauntless again. Dauntless is right. Saints Row 3 was fucking amazing. Running around, beating people with a giant dildo. You could not get better. The old ones, yeah, yeah, exactly. The best part about the new Saints Row was the character create. Well, actually, speaking of the Florida man setting <laughs> that GTA 6 is going down, I feel like Trevor would have fit so much better in this game. He kind of would have, yeah. It's like a, a washed out, like, cocaine mobster kind of guy. Yeah, and I get, like, his whole point was to bring, like, insanity into, like, the more mundane life of Franklin and Michael. Mm-hmm. But I, I watched the trailer and I was like, God, if Trevor showed up in this game, I would not bat an eye in any way, shape, or form. It would fit so well, yeah. Do you think, or maybe they showed this already, but the, do you think the um, Vice City characters would show up? I don't know. I, I I don't remember if they showed this at all, but... I'm not sure if they would show up. I think, like, if anyone's going to show up, it's going to be 
someone from GTA Five. Yeah, that 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 makes sense. It's just because it's the most recent and is like one of the fucking biggest games ever. Yeah, they're still milking it dry. Yeah, is that the most profitable game ever? I think it's up there. I want to say maybe Minecraft is above it. Well, I think Minecraft has sold more. Okay, yeah, Minecraft has sold more than GTA Five. GTA Five has 190 million. Minecraft is 300 million. Good lord, <laughs> sales. Also, to be fair, can you really compare the two when one is getting those numbers because it keeps being fucking re-released? Yeah, that's that's fair. Minecraft is just the one thing. Although, to be fair, Minecraft is out on, like, everything. So it has kind of re-released a couple times. But yeah, GTA Five just kept on re-releasing. MMOs, my dude, they are the real money makers. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I, I don't know how this compares. I'm sure, like, Final Fantasy fourteen or something like that has made just obscenely more money. Because you don't have, like, game sales to go off of. Yeah, it is one of the most profitable games of all time. I think MMOs are in a, are in a different league entirely. Oh, you know what else is in a different league, probably? What about, um, b- 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 what about mobile games? Oh my god, the freemium games? Yeah, like, uh, I, I don't even want to know how much fucking, like, Honkai Star Rail or, um, what's the other Candy one? Candy Crush. Yeah, Candy Crush, or, like, that is made, like, good god. Do you remember when Candy Crush was in the Emoji movie? I don't want to. I want to get that part <laughs> of my brain removed, but I still, I still have that knowledge in there. I closed my eyes and I still see it. Yeah, I can almost feel the screams. <laughs> <laughs> Even Flappy Bird made like a million dollars. Yeah, that's crazy shit right there. It's really funny because you mentioned like it's been like 10 years since GTA 5. I love looking at the lists of everything that happened between GTA 5 and the release trailer for GTA 6. <laughs> yeah. Also, a a big thing we should mention is, so, obviously there's a trailer, which is huge news, because people have been waiting for literal years just for, like, any sort of announcement, and they did announce the release date in 2025. People lost their fucking mind at this. What did you, were you upset by that? Lost their mind as in they were were very upset? Yes. I don't know, I I feel like, because honestly from the trailer, and obviously trailers can be, like, deceiving, because they can be very, like, selective with, with what they put in the trailer. But it looked like a lot was done. Like there was everything they showed was like so impressive that it seemed like a game that could be close ish to coming out, at least like within the next year. Maybe they just want to like really take their time with it and not not mess it up. I mean, it is GT. It's Rockstar. Like they never do anything half assed to the point where, you know, their labor practice might be a little sketchy, but yeah, maybe they go too far. But yeah, because like I feel like even in, even in GTA 5, it was like groundbreaking when it came out. But now, like, I feel like all the animations and everything in it looks so much, looks so, like, janky. Like, they still feel very, like, video gamey. Mm-hmm. But in the trailer, everything looks ridiculously realistic. Like, it was insane how, how realistic it looked. To be fair, though, according to, well, not, not according to, it just is. Dauntless is right in the chat by saying that we got no gameplay. It was all just, like, pre-rendered like cutscenes. Scene, yeah, yeah. That's, that's true, actually, yeah. In which usually we would go no game, no hype and flip it off and move on. But with Rockstar, it's kind of might be what the game looks like. They're usually pretty good. Yeah. And it it was like in-game footage is just like pre-rendered. Yeah. But also like think about all the trailers for GTA. I mean, not GTA, Red Dead Redemption 2. Like they all were the pre-rendered shit, but that's Mm. what the game looked like. Yeah, it's like unbelievable that the game could look like. But then also, you know, games can be deceiving or game trailers can be very, very deceiving. So it can be hard to trust. I just love how whenever like GTA becomes a big thing, people lose their mind over just random shit about it. Like Dauntless, you are right. It was a story, story trailer for the most part. And people were like, I can't believe you You have to play as a woman. They're adding the woke agenda. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry, but having a female character is not woke. It's still going to be GTA 6. It doesn't matter if you're shooting hookers as a man or a female. You're still doing GTA shit. Oh, my God. Obviously, because, again, it's multiple characters, you're going to have to kill one at the end. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, partner. I don't know how... Like, if they don't kill one of them at the end, I'm going to be shocked. That will be them Them actually going soft. It's Florida. We should have been an 80-year-old nudist on coke. Well, what if that ends up becoming being one of the characters? You have, like, two relatively normal, like, like gangster characters. And then character number three is just the ultimate Florida man. That was what Trevor was. Yeah, no, but with, like, like a crocodile on a, on a leash and shit like that. That would be great. 
There was one part where like someone was like fishing a crocodile out of a, a yeah. lake. <laughs> no, I think it was out of like a backyard pool. Which was great. Apparently, like all of those were like based on real yes videos. They're, like like all references of like Florida people. Like like every every part of the trailer that that was like one of those like cut scenes was something that has actually existed. <laughs> so funny. Which makes it even better. Yes. I do love the trailer. I'm okay waiting till 2025 to play it. And I do hope there is a swamp puppy in this uh, game. Oh, yeah. Like, you know how in uh, Far Cry 5, you can have a bear named Cheeseburger? That was actually the best part of the entire game. So what if instead of a bear named Cheeseburger, you got a gator named Hush Puppy? Named Methamphetamine. (laughs) (laughs) Bath salt. (laughs) Because he rips people's faces off. Yeah, and he lives in salt water. <laughs> so wait, get, get, do gators live in salt water or is it fresh water? I was just about to ask you that. Do they live in salt water? I don't think they do. I feel, I feel, yeah, I feel like it's fresh water. They have to be fresh water. Otherwise, I would never go in the ocean. <laughs> Could you imagine swimming in the ocean? Like, you're just bobbing up and down in the ocean. And all of a sudden, you just see in the waves their face coming at you. Well, I, oh, I think crocodiles can live in salt water. Oh, my God. Sorry, yeah, you, you you should you should never go into into the ocean. So like, there's a comedian that I love called Randy Feltface, and they were like, I never understand. I don't know if it was them actually, but I'm I'm attributing it to them when they were like, I never understand when people are like, oh my god, the shark's gone rogue. No, it didn't. It's doing what nature made it to do. It smelled the food and it went to get the food. That's what it. That's what it does. It's like, but it came into it came into our bit. No, you see the dry bit. <laughs> right there yeah. that's our bit we were in its bit that's where we're supposed to be well we were talking about gta 6 yeah <laughs> wait but real quick I, I looked up apparently there's literally like different types of crocodile like there are saltwater and freshwater crocodiles i don't know where they live ah well i'm assuming the saltwater ones live in salt water we well, yeah, but no but the saltwater ones are in like they're in india and southeast asia i don't think they're in america so you're you are safe for a little bit are you kidding florida would become more of a shithole if they were if there were saltwater crocodiles people would be shooting into the ocean i love that one clip of the trailer where the crocodile just walks into the fucking convenience store i am very excited for this but do you know who is not excited about this at all who elon musk oh oh my god i saw this So essentially, somebody made a tweet that was like, here's all the GTA games I haven't played. And it just listed all of them. Basically, this guy was saying, I haven't played any of the GTA games, which again is fine. You don't need to play every fucking game that comes out ever. You you're allowed to have a life unlike me. Yeah, you don't need to like every game either. Yes. And Elon Musk tweeted out something along the lines of, I can't play GTA. I don't like I can't get over the more implications of killing a cop or some shit like that. This is uh, in a video game, by the way, where the video game is about being a gangster. (laughs) Here's exactly what he wrote. I just pulled it up. I'm sorry. Tried, but didn't like doing crime. GTA (laughs) 5 required shooting police officers in the opening scene. Just couldn't do it. What a fucking tool. <laughs> what a weenie. Also, th- this, is, uh, this is the man who has broken several laws with, his, uh, with Tesla. Um, just yes. saying. <laughs> yeah, Mr. I can't do... I think... Do you think he's just saying that so like people like forget? Yeah, maybe. Like, oh, I'm, I'm just so scared. I can never play Grand Theft Auto. Ugh. Yeah. And with that, with us shitting on Elon once again, we have successfully made sure that Al Jed Productions can never be bought by him. Or if they do, he fires us immediately. I, I literally pulled up the, the messages where he sounded it out phonetically. This time for sure, right? This time for sure. You didn't mispronounce it? I'm 98% sure. I'm sure we'll get a text if I pronounced <laughs> it wrong once again. We'll see. We've been doing this for seven, eight fucking weeks, and I still can't get the name right. Eventually, you got to learn, like, for sure. But what if I don't? What if I don't want to? Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. What if I'm seeing how much we can get away with before <laughs> he fires us? <laughs> Please don't fire us. No, but... Back to Elon Musk. What's even funnier is some guy named Ian Miles, and I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to pronounce his last name correctly, so I'm not going to try, was like, I'm glad shooting cops in Cyberpunk 2077 is completely optional. Never finished GTA 5 either. But once again, 
I love Twitter community notes. Mm -hmm. They were like, Ian Miles has written up to 255 Gamer Ranks articles covering GTA 5, including descriptions of personally killing or evading virtual police in the game single player. <laughs> He's just straight up lying just to like appease his 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 buddy Elon. Exactly. If I bet as he said it, he was like licking a picture of Elon. Oh yeah, pro that was like certainly going on. That's so funny. Also, this imagine being like, oh, I'm so proud of of avoiding breaking the law in Cyberpunk and Grand Theft Auto. I'm sorry. What did you expect to happen in a game called Grand Theft Auto? Like those people who like do like role play servers in, in GTA or whatever, where where it's like you have to follow all the traffic lights and shit. I mean, yeah, but those are those are usually funny. Yeah, no, those they're just doing it like for like to be funny. They're not like, oh, I'm just, I'm I I would never break a law. If we could get the guy that does the James Randall role play <laughs> on our podcast, holy shit, that would that would make me so happy. You know what? Anyone who listens to this, send it to him. Go, my army of like four people. That's, that's enough. <laughs> Anyways, that's GTA 6. Yeah. That, that's great. That was it. God, we went so far off the deep end. Yeah. And of course, it's like the, the trailer has gone like super huge. It's like, I think it's over 100 million views already, which is insane. Like how fucking big this game is going to be. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's probably, do you think, do you think it's literally the most anticipated game ever? You know what? I think you're right, actually. I'm trying to think, like, the first Zelda was probably up there. The first, like, Cyberpunk was up there before it came out. Like, I don't, I don't know. There, there are a bunch that have been very, very anticipated, but I don't know if there's been any, like, as much as this one. No one's ever had to wait 10 fucking years for... Well, no, that that's not true. That's, that's people have had to wait very long times for sequels. I have examples off the top of my head. King Hearts. <laughs> yeah, me, me. Me, my life. Duke Nukem Forever. That was for that was stuck in hell forever. Yeah, that's true. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is still in development. <laughs> don't worry, it's coming out soon. It's coming out really soon. I don't believe that for half a second. You know what else is coming out soon? A Hollow Knight Silk Song. No. At least people who are who are GTA fans, if they're disappointed by the fact it's coming out in 2025, at least you have a fucking date. At least you have a date. <laughs> you bastards. Yeah, stop complaining about 2025. Some people don't even have a year. So Slug was supposed to come out this year and last year and two years ago and three years ago. <laughs> How long has Silk Song been in development by this point, actually? It might be five or six years, I want to say. I, I think five years. I think we'll be able to tell if GTA 6 is the most... I didn't know how to respond to that, so I'm just going to leave it at that. But God, <laughs> I always feel pain. weird when you say something and I'm just like, moving on. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm just in pain. It's it's all right. It's all right. I'll be happy about a new Kingdom Hearts game coming out before Silk Song. Probably. <laughs> we could probably be able to tell if GTA 6, how anticipated it is uh -huh. from the pre-order. Oh, true. Like sale. The numbers on that. Yeah. And I remember actually speaking of, bringing back to the Game Awards, there is a most anticipated game. I feel like, was GTA 6 on that? Because if it was, it's just going to win, right? No, it was not. Because okay. when the nominations came out, we didn't, like, there was nothing oh, about right. it. There was no, because they, like, announced that there was going to be a trailer, like, last week. And then the trailer came out this week. So, yeah, yeah I think that was, it was too late. And people knew nothing about it. Except for, you know, those leaks that came out a while ago. Yeah. That started that whole graphic to the first thing done in a video game thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was very dumb. Anyways. I think that's it for GTA 6. We talked about it for like, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> that's over half the episode on just GTA 6. That's important. I know. And we're going to quickly just talk about Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire trailer, because I am a giant Godzilla fan. Mm -hmm. And you you love like the series of like Godzilla movies, right? The Godzilla ones, the first Godzilla versus Kong, right? Yeah, I think they're very, very good. I still need to see Minus One, though. I heard it's amazing. Oh, right. That's, that's out this year, right? Yeah, it's already out. Apparently, like, the American versions are doing, like, the monster, the, the action figures smashing together stuff. This is and the Japanese are like, let's bring Godzilla back to its horror roots. Make it actually just, like, a, a thing that appears and, like, smashes boats. Yes. I really like this trailer. I thought it was fine, honestly. It showed a lot without telling a lot. Yeah. Which made me happy. Godzilla and Kong are, are homies now, right? I think so. I don't think they're homies. I just think they're like, look, I'm not going to fuck with you. You don't fuck with me. Instead of setting aside their differences. Yeah, you have your bit. I have my bit. It's weird because like, it looks like 
the villain is just like an orangutan, like a big ass orange monkey, mm-hmm. which, is, which is really fucking weird. I, I don't think it would be all like Godzilla enemies because I, yeah. I, I feel like those are like the coolest ones. Like, like we're, we're King Kong's enemies. I guess there are other monkeys. No, he doesn't have any enemies, really. I mean, think about it. He has the Empire State Building and planes. Yeah. Or a T-Rex. It could have been a T-Rex. Oh, it could have just been a T-Rex. Although, like, a, t- a T-Rex isn't shit to Godzilla, right? No, not even a little bit. It's got to be a bigger, badder monkey. Exactly. It's just, it looks like this movie is going to be like, oh, apparently Kong isn't the only giant monkey anymore. The only ape? Yeah. And for some reason, Godzilla's pink now, which... I honestly thought was like, oh, maybe it's a different Godzilla, like his kid or something. No, apparently it's the same one. He's just pink now. Oh, like it, 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 it's literally supposed to be the same one. Yeah, but his atomic breath is pink. Oh, that, that's, because, that's because he changed to be a good guy. That's why. Well, apparently like it's like, oh, he like got stronger or whatever. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, all right, then. I don't question it. I'm just going to be happy to see my action figures slamming together. Yeah, it, it, it's just going to be fucking awesome no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Maybe maybe more closely around the time of the movie comes out, we can do like a Godzilla villain tier list. Oh, hell yeah. Because you could just look at them and go like, oh, he looks cool. And I could just go, well, actually, if you look at his tongue, you can see that it was specifically designed to lick feet. And this was the intended purpose. I can bore you with all the details. And you just be like, shut up. He's cool looking. Like he's got fucking, he's got fucking laser eyes and fire breath. He's cool. It's okay. To be fair, I don't know what Godzilla villain they could have used after Ghidorah and... Mecha Godzilla. I mean, I guess Desodroya, but like they used Mothra already, right? Yeah, no, Mothra is very dead. <laughs> Mothra is dead. I think Rodan is still out there somewhere. It's weird because like there's only been like five of the classic Godzilla monsters in this new series, really. Like all the other monsters that you see are new. It's weird. Like you wouldn't use this giant catalog. Oh, no, it confuses me. Yeah, I mean, there, there are so many really cool ones. I remember from the fucking Godzilla fighting games. Exactly. No Jet Jaguar? Oh, Jet Jaguar. I just am like, I don't understand how this orange monkey is supposed to be a threat. But who knows? I don't know. He's just going to be a really strong and cool monkey. He's going to be a monkey with a gun. That's that's how. Well, it looks like he, like, wears, like, a skull and spine around his, like, body. Like, he looks cool. I just don't see how he's a threat. Yeah, how he's supposed to be stronger than Godzilla and King Kong. Yeah. I feel like this is something that Kong could probably handle by himself. Yeah. No, that, that's gonna be the conflict of the movie. Is to be like, like, dude, go, go home. Like, I got, I got this. I just feel like this movie doesn't need to exist, but I'm excited. I'm gonna go see it in IMAX. Of and course, and it's going to be the sickest thing ever. Yes, it is absolutely going to be the sickest thing. All right, this is when we would do what we watch, what we play in. But I haven't been watching anything except for Scott Pilgrim which I finished, and I don't want to spoil it for you because I know you said you want to watch it, so we're not going to talk about it. Yes, yeah, I, I, I still want to watch it, so I don't, I don't really want to get spoiled on it. The only thing I've been watching, really, I'm, I'm still behind on Jujutsu Kaisen, and I know it's really good, apparently, but I'm, I'm still behind on that. The other thing I've been watching is the Squid Game show, which the finale of that is coming out tonight. Um, oh. Like, very, very soon. Is your friend still in it? Yeah, they could win it. <laughs> Oh, shit. The, the person that I literally know, um, the still in it, and they could fucking win. I'm very, very excited for that. So I, I want to see if they make it out. Because, like I said, this is the, literally the fucking finale tonight. Yeah. They might win, actually. That would be insane. Yeah. The show is like not good, but that, that's okay because I've been still been watching because they're in it. But I'm very excited. For what we play in, though, mm-hmm. we really want to talk Fortnite. Yeah. It's basically just been, just been the new Fortnite Chapter 5. Yes. And the OG season ended pretty unspectacularly or yeah. spectacular i feel like people are pretty split on the event unceremoniously yeah I, I i missed the event i didn't watch it but it was like an eminem concert and then like the world exploded and then i guess the new season just happened it wasn't really an eminem concert he's it was a song and a half yeah <laughs> it's a very short eminem concert and like you got to look at like the lego collab and the new racing mode it was very cool it was just really fucking short yeah I was very excited for Chapter 5, and I know you had a lot of reservations going into it. Yeah, mainly because I like the OG season a lot. 
I was having fun with it. I liked how like it was go back to what it was. And it was very simple and fun. Um, so I was worried about like going back to the more recent seasons of like insanity and like a thousand different things going on, like all this stuff and NPCs. And they kind of did exactly go back to that. But at the same time, I've actually been having a lot of fun. I was like, I, literally when I saw the trailer for the, for the new season, I was like, oh, like I don't really want to play this. This doesn't look fun. Like I'm just going to try and grind it out to get Peter Griffin. I've been playing it a little bit. And I've, I've, like, I've like been having a lot of fun so far with the new season. It's been like really fun. I think the issue is, is they added a lot of stuff. Yeah. And on a surface level, it looks complicated. It's very over. I mean, I guess this is true of like any new Fortnite season. Like whenever there's a new season, it's very overwhelming at first because there's like so many icons popping up. There's all these like exclamation points and quests and all these things going on. But this, it's even more so because like basically between the OT season and this, it's a completely different game. Like it is a literally, it's it's not a worse game, but it's a completely different game. (laughs) Like the movement is different. The weapons are different. The locations are different. The graphics are different. Yeah, like like everything feels very, very different. I think the biggest thing that I've noticed, well, obviously there's like all the NPCs that you fight that completely changes the game. But then there's also the storm moves so much faster. Like in, in the in the OG, I feel like it was almost like too slow. I think after the first like circle or when you dropped in, there was like four minutes between storms or like something like really, really long like that. But now you have to fucking go. You have to go so quickly. On one hand, I like that because now the games go faster. Yeah, no, I, I think it makes them more exciting because you have to keep moving. Like it feels a little bit too fast, but I like it being faster because it forces you to keep moving. I feel like if it was like 30 seconds longer, it'd be perfect. Yeah, at, at least like the first one, if it moved a little bit slower, because like it makes it feel like if you land on the edge of the map, you can be kind of screwed because like you you might have to go really, really far and like not even really get to see everything that where you dropped at. Well, also, it kind of makes the train a little pointless. Yeah, basically, as soon as you drop in, half the time that the train is like on the map is going to be in the storm. So you're like, like you don't even want to be on it for too long. <laughs> exactly. I think like a lot of people are complaining about the movement. Like you move a little slower, which again, I don't really mind. I don't mind that at all. Like it doesn't bother me at all. People don't like the NPCs and the bosses, which get good. You don't have to deal with them. There's plenty of locations that aren't named that you can go to where there's no NPCs, no bosses and a lot of good shit. Yeah, I, I think also if like you feel overwhelmed because like everything is completely different and it feels very different and like there's so many different things like there's new weapon modifications there's like emblems and npcs and boss fights and peter griffin and all this stuff you can basically just ignore things like take them one at a time as you just like kind of adjust to it i thought it was going to be overwhelming but it only takes a couple games really to like kind of get what's going on yeah i remember you like when you played it for the first time like i already played it a few times And you were like, oh my God, what is this? What is that? I don't know what any of this means. And I'm just like, this means that it's good up close. This means that it's good from afar. Yeah, okay, I do think it's stupid. Like all the gun names now are like six words. Like that doesn't, that's not necessary. (laughs) No, not even a little bit. All you really need to worry about are like the last two words. If it says Nemesis AR or Striker AR, if it says Hyper SMG or Thunder SMG, there's essentially six guns or five or six guns now. And- There's a lot of different ways, modifications on them. Because they include the modifications like in the name, it looks so fucking complicated. Yeah, I I think it's a little easier because you don't have to worry about really, you usually don't really have to worry about like putting on the modifications yourself. You can just like, it's just like the more rare guns have more modifications. So like they're better because they have like extended mag or like less recoil or something like that. So it keeps it pretty simple compared to like Apex where you're running around collecting 500 different attachments and it's like insanity. Yeah, like I really enjoy the fact that now the colors mean something beyond just maybe this one's a little more accurate. Yeah, like it's like a slight damage upgrade, yeah. Yeah, I'm not really even... Was it damage? I wasn't even really sure what the rarities did. There's like one point more damage per like rarity or something like that. Yeah, like that's not noticeable, but having a scope and an extended mag is very noticeable. Yeah. And plus it makes you feel like more of a god when you take down somebody with like a purple... Yeah, and there's like a big difference between like the weak guns versus the strong ones. Cause like I picked up a, like it was like a green or a blue sniper rifle and it didn't have a fucking scope. And I was like, what do I do? <laughs> With those, it's like the hunting rifle. Like, yeah, no, it's until like wasn't even like fully accurate. It was terrible. Yeah, I like that. I like that there's a little more strategy involved. Cause even in zero build now, it's not just shoot the guy. It's you have to really worry about your loadout. Yeah. And, I'm very happy cars are back. The fact that they have like gas is annoying, but I do like have, having all the cars back. Like any car that you pull up to, it can you can drive. I wish for the love of God, though, they brought back the car mods. 
Yes, the like souped up tires and like the the um the battering ram. The yeah, the battering ram was amazing. That was, I think, the most fun I've had was getting finding the bus that you can drive, putting the wheels and the ram on it, and then just not stop it. And the turret you can put on it. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the season though, and I'm gonna keep playing. It's really funny because me and my girlfriend have been playing it together. She's been really into it. Like I have her on the PlayStation. I'm on my Switch. It's just really funny because she still doesn't fully understand the game. <laughs> and that's okay. Because like I said, you can just take it like one step at a time and like learn pretty slowly. Yeah. But it's it's really funny going from like playing with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who carries me? For the most part. And then I'm the one having to be the carrier. And I'm just like, no, you are the carry. It's like, oh, God. Although I, I do like, I think Fortnite does a good job of like trying to introduce new people. Because you, you get a, a lot of bot matches, which like eventually once you adjust to the game, the bots are very, very easy. But it's a, it's good to just like learn how to move and like shoot the guns with like enemies that don't really fight back that much. It's kind of like, like, like training wheels. Yeah. Because the first three are basically bot games. We won the first three. Yeah, it makes you feel good. And then yeah, and then you, you go up against people. And then eventually you go up against really good people and you're like, why am I playing this? Yep. That's why I don't play in build mode anymore. Yeah, this this eight-year-old, this kid born in 2016 just destroyed me. <laughs> I'm so happy it doesn't have like the death mic that Warzone has because then I would just hear like the eight-year-old singing, watch me whip. Get shit off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm probably going to play more of it tonight. You know what? Maybe I will too. I think that's it for this week then. So you got nothing else, right? No, that's it. All right. This was another short one. Mom is calling us up for dinner. Next. Well, okay. When this comes out, it'll probably be like a few weeks after the Game Awards. Uh Next week, we are talking Game Awards and I'm very excited. So prepare for a long one. So excited. Yep. But until then, thank you all for stopping by. Get the fuck out of our house. Shine on, you crazy diamond.